So what I would say, I'd say someone taking a blended course would have to pay attention to their time management. Um, we were lucky enough that the course was structured in a way to kind of ensure that you went over the material on your own. Uh, but you definitely needed to carve out a piece of time, an hour or two a week, to, to go over the material, to do the readings, to review the slides um, on your own time. And it's as good as it is to uh, be able to do it when you want. It's also sometimes a bit easy to forget, oh wait, I have another, technically I have another class to attend at home in my own time. Um, so yeah, definitely it takes, it takes some self-discipline and time management skills. And I mean, I, I kind of got into the routine where I would, I would take my Sunday afternoon and, and kind of review the material. Uh, that way it was fresh in my mind for a Monday morning class. I would, I would review the slides, do the readings, uh, take the quiz, um, see where I had gone wrong, and then review a few problem areas. And that way I could, uh, I found that would lead to me being able to participate more in face-to-face -face class time as well. Yeah, don't think of the online sessions as time off because the, the online discussions are a huge part of your mark and if you miss one, it can really affect your overall grade. Um, some tips for time management, if, you e if you're more likely to forget that you have an online session, then I would say write it in your calendar, write down your calendar, write in your agenda, Set a reminder on your phone just to remind you that you are online for this time and that way you don't miss it. Think of the online session as you would as if it was a traditional course. You have assignments due on a certain day and think about how long it's going to take you to do the assignment and prepare on your calendar or on your phone when you're going to start it.